Berta and Batistuta and Simeone are ready. The always colorful Jorge Campos in net for Mexico, trying to keep things rather boring while Sergio Goicochea tries to recapture the magic. The Copa America 93 final is underway, and so much history on display here. Two of the greatest scorers of all time anywhere, Hugo Sanchez and Gabriel Batistuta on display going head to head. Just one interesting historic note, Phil. Both of these teams in the final came out of Group C. So they played each other in group play. Argentina and Mexico 1-1 back on June 20th of that year. Ruggieri scoring for the Argentines in Patino for L3. First foul of the game against the Mexicans. And a free kick. Keep an eye on the back. Argentina loves to pull up the flanks. Although very strong in the middle as well with Diego Simeone trying to keep. Ball launched forward. Nacho Ambris heads it clear. Now pushed forward across to the early shot. Smothered by Campos. That's Acosta. Of course, it wasn't just Batistuta up front for the Argentines. Beto Acosta, a proven goal scorer alongside the goal scoring legend Bati Gol. Nacho Ambri is pushing forward in towards the attack as Zage reaches over, drops it back. Claudio Suarez launching it long upfield. The Emperor as his pass intercepted, but regrouped and on the near side, Patino. Mexico pushing forward. Ramon Ramirez. Zage. Sanchez was there, but the flag comes up. And a helping hand of thanks from Sergio Goicochea. That was close. Well, certainly no lack of pace in the beginning, was there? I mean, Argentina coming forward very quickly, and now Mexico blasting forward with several players. A little too long for everyone and no problem for Campos. The pressure pushing forward. Diego Simeone in the center of the park as the ball pushed down the line. And then back in towards Campos's net. Well, that takeaway by Fabian Basualdo, one of the uh, veterans from the 91 team. In the right back spot for Argentina. Acosta off to the corner, then pushed up the line to Gorosito. Masualdo will take the throw. Oh, call another. It will be a throw, says the Brazilian referee, Marcio Resende. Trying to spin into the corner at Costa. Gets the cross, but deflected. Resende saying it's going to be off the deflection. A few chats from Ramirez. And it will be a free kick for Mexico. Oswaldo flying forward, gets enough of it. There's Oscar Ruggeri sending it long upfield. Over to Claudio Suarez, talked about the attackers. Ruggeri and Suarez, two legends in their own right. Nice bit of work from Redondo, trying to start the break. Dummies it through. Simeone tries to switch, but it's intercepted. And now Mexico pushing forward. Simeone cleans up his own mistake. Redondo, graceful as ever in the midfield, pushes it to Batistuta, who's knocked to the turf, and another free kick coming up for Mex for Argentina. A beautiful little move by Simeone, just a little dummy there to help out his teammate, lets it run, Batistuta gets hit from behind that time by Juan Ramirez. Jorge Campos 
Some might say 5'10", probably closer to 5'7", but an imposing keeper despite his height. Argentina will not find it easy to put the ball past him. This shot deflected off the free kick. Our first corner of the game. Truly one of the unique players in the modern era of the game, Phil. Talking about Campos, a guy who could play so well in goal and, of course, known for playing up front as well. Extremely rare. Ball deflected across. Good look at Simeone, who's saying his shirt was tugged. Quickly taken again by Argentina. Want to keep the ball in motion. The Redondo knocked down. And it looks as though they send a starting to think about the pocket. But at this point, keeping the cards in check. Coming up down the line, the cross from Altimirano, the shot towards goal, and Campos was there. Gorosito with his first opportunity of the day. Well, this is uh, Pipo Gorosito in front. Beautiful cross. But the exit river plate in the San Lorenzo man can't quite get all, it, all of it on the right uh, place. Rosito also played in Austria for a short time in 89 to 91 for Swarovski Tirol. Also played in Japan in his career. So many interesting stories about these players. Rosito. Awaiting the touch. Instead, he'll chip it forward. Simeone saying he was grabbed again. Adding in was Ruggeri, his two cents, and Resende returns it. He doesn't look too happy about it. Now, on the break, keep an eye. Spinning forward, Ambri says he steps up from the back, and now he's knocked down. And a foul against Argentina. Basualdo Ruggeri. Morelli and Altamirano along the back. Verando and Simeone, the spine of the Argentine midfield. Acosta and Gorosito handling the flanks. Meanwhile, Gabriel Batistuta working on it very closely with Zapata towards the attack. Now the shot pushed wide. Goicochea getting down. Looked like Garcia Aspe with that powerful left foot. Well, Goicochea. Making his reputation, of course, just a few years earlier in 1990 in the World Cup, but known for saving penalties he did in this tournament there. He makes a nice save for the run of play on the shot. Well, we've already talked about the two striking tandems and the two central defensive leaders on these teams. Redondo, a little bit different than Garcia Aspe, although they'll play the same role. Redondo has a little bit more freedom in that central holding midfield because he has a player with the bite of Diego Simeone in front of him. For Mexico, it's a little bit reversed. The bite in the back from Garcia Aspe with the grace of Galindo in the attack, but one thing that bodes well for Argentina here today, there you see the 17 stepping forward. Benjamin has not gotten many touches of the ball yet. Tries to get to it here, but stolen away. Simeone slams in and he's whistled for the foul. Well, you do know it's going to go the other way. Yeah, when they lose the ball, Argentina, they're back so quickly in a pack to pressure the ball at midfield. Challenge at midfield there, Simeone in there. Ball deflected to the far side, Basualdo. Over to Gorosito, deflects to the inside, and now. Trying to push forward was Ramirez and taken away. The foul called. Campos in nets for Mexico. Raul Gutierrez and Juan Ramirez on the flanks. Ambris who will push forward with Suarez in the mid. 
Patino and Ramon Ramirez on the outside of the mid with Garcia and Galindo in, front, in the center. Sanchez in the center of the attack with Zague. Luis Roberto Alves, the Brazilian legacy, will be playing the flanks normally on the left. Tall, graceful player. Doesn't really use his height that much, but when you have feet like his, you don't need to. Ball forward for Ugo. Back out towards the flank. Ramirez lifts it in. Zage does try and get ahead to it. But stolen away and out of the midfield. Quickly closed down by the Mexican defense. Nacho Ambris. Here's Patino. Tries to get a little greedy with it. Stolen away. Suarez. All the way back to Juan Ramirez. Zage with some space. Gets rid of it quickly. The back heel from Galindo finds no one. Off balance cross to the near side. Acosta. Simeone sticks the boot out, gets it off Gutierrez. But Suarez back to help. Well, that's good defending. Also, a good recovery by Simeone, but he couldn't quite get to the ball after he got back up that time. This is what you would expect to see in a final. Neither team is giving up anything. Whenever they lose the ball, it's an immediate race to get it back. Ball slips through for Batistuta. Gonzalez gets a boot on it. This is the largest of the stadiums here in Ecuador for the 93 Copa America, their first hosting role. Most of the stadiums in the 20s, slightly larger at the Olympic Guadalupe in Quito, but Nearly 90,000 can squeeze in, and many are wearing green and the celeste and white. Batistuta trying to poach and almost gets there, but Campos so quick off the line. Here's that play again. Campos, as you say, Phil, was out so quickly. Not a chance that time, but a good idea by the Argentines. Zague on the flank. Ramirez, who already had a spectacular goal. Actually, Garcia Aspe pushing up on the left side.